Hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is yet another episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with Beth Griffith and Andrew Bolotowski. And uh, tonight we're telling a story about this uh, character, Radio Lipschitz, who appeared on The Facts. Uh, he's, you know, made up character, didn't actually appear, but, um, uh, about three years ago. And, um, so with this, he's, Radio's a guy who's, uh, afraid of success. And he's really haunted by how many asses, how many behinds he has kissed. Lonely, oh. and and he doesn't think that he's accomplished much. He's three hundred years old, twelve or fifteen generations from now. Oh. Three hundred years is he's you know up like a pup. It's oh. not a problem, um, and he, but he thinks you know what have I been doing for three hundred years? Um, by the time the story takes place, uh, capitalism is worn down, uh, so you know things are a lot more stuff is happening and. People are thinking in torrents of ideas, or are are, are are just you know rolling all over the world. You know, there's a lot to do. Thank you. 
As we tape this, it's it's July seventeenth, two thousand seventeen, and so radio's living in uh, twenty three seventeen, mm-hmm. and um, two hundred years before twenty three, like twenty one seventeen, he's he's he had this wife, very energetic and sort of. Uh, um, Entrepreneurish kind of wife, and uh, she left him, and uh, and and she had she was sort of he, at least he felt uh, disdainful, uh, and and her disdain or whatever it is you know still roils him. He can't focus on it, but he can't lose it. it it's it walks with him every day. How can I? 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 When um, he used to be an architect, radio he used to be an architect like two hundred and fifty years ago, two hundred whatever it is, and 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 now he's a he's a he's a choreographer with his own dance troupe, very modern, you know, of dances, you know, moved along, it's developed and developed, and and um, he became a dancer to find out who he is, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, because when he was an architect, he was always uh, modifying his stuff to meet his clients' priorities. You know, so it it it's, his art was always was always being bastardized. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he's very good at keeping his own counsel. Radio, you know, so he, he he got through these situations, but you know, it's like if it didn't give him an ulcer, it was like that kind of thing. His his mother was an immigrant from um, 
from Korea. And at the time that she came to the United States, racism was still, you know, because capitalism was still in place. So racism was in full swing. And she, uh, she it made her ill. She was, it made her ment- emotionally ill. She tried to deal with this. Her, her answer was to to blend in. She she was blend in, blend in. She was always telling radio, blend in. It's like like you're part of the wall, so they they don't see you. You know, you can't stand out in any way. <laughs> He, he took this, you know, I mean, you, you got to take these things to heart, right? So he took it to heart and that it was, it was very important to, to not let anybody know how you feel and to, you know, have a, a poker face. things come out you know they they just don't they just don't go away they 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 come out <laughs> By come out, I mean who you really are, what you really feel, comes out. He has developed these long, strong dancer muscles. You know, so he's very graceful, and most of his joints have been replaced. Uh, so his his body is wonderfully articulate. He's he can say he he has the equipment uh, to 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 express himself. Uh, you know, it's a, so the ongoing thing. He has this, he has the technical skill, the equipment. Uh, so the the problem is uh, finding the courage. to repeat himself so much like I just did. Don't like him. I don't like him. Press one to be here. Press, press one to be here. But I want but him. I want to like me, press two, two, eat the words, eat the words, then in your own punishment, to overcome, press one, press two, press 
<sighs> Stay in bed. Find a pillow on floor. Relax with people. Listen to Step it. On Press it. on it. Be Step quick, quick. Not. So, radio is angry. Who isn't? <laughs> he's humbled. Uh, he's humbled. Uh, he's angry and humbled. The thing that really roils him, his dance troupe has hardly been noticed. And, um, but at the same time, he is afraid of the scrutiny that success would bring, uh, the jealousy. You know, so he's, you know, rock and hard place. Uh, and, and it would, you know, it would, it would, uh, he, he doesn't think he can handle it. So, you know, he's going to avoid it, even though it's what he wants, you know, and that's real life. him, but I want him to like me. Does uh, Mr. Radio, Mr. Lipschitz, radio is his first name. I don't know why she named him radio. She could have named him TV. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, he, I don't know who his father was, but anyway, uh, he, he uh, radio enjoys the certainty that his wife, that he's so worried about her opinion of him, but that he's pretty sure that she was also afraid of his judgments at the same time. And, um, and that he has mixed feelings about. He's, he's, it, it, it heartens him to a certain extent, but it also makes him feel shallow, bad, because he knows his judgments weren't, I mean, what are his judgments? I mean, what is he worth? And so, oh man, it just goes on and on. <laughs> dance troupe that he puts together, they make these stories sort of like these old-fashioned tableaus, only they're moving tableaus, you know, like the tableaus from like World War I era or something, tableaus before that, early part of the 20th century, I guess. Uh, so, and they, they, they have, they, like, they'll tell a little piece of, they'll tell a story or some kind of 
build something. They do it with shapes. They link shapes. And there's about 20 people in his troops. So there's all these linking of shapes and arms and legs and stuff and bodies and heads. And, and, and then they stop one section and, and then, you know, maybe it lasts three minutes and then they go on to the next, but they don't make the connections between the, the, the transitions between the sections. The story is made of, in other words, of these, of these, of these little clumps of happenings that he leaves the audience to, to make the connections between these clumps of, of, of happenings. He doesn't know what the connections are either, you know, he just, he, so he has, that's where that was born from. And, um, so, that's that story. Dun, 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 He, he life. He wants to live life fuller. Live live life fuller. He, he's lived in this little case, you know, like he's been half dead. And living life fuller, he thinks that means telling people what you actually think, you know. And and uh, oh God. to listen to what they are thinking, to what they're saying. If, oh, my God. embarking on this on this journey of relating to other human beings and and letting them relate to him <laughs> So radio, radio decides to get to to study to be objective about. He, he gets interested in what is the purpose of dignity in terms of the survival of the species. What is the purpose of this thing that's built into people? This need for dignity. How are our individual cells important to the whole, all people, or everything on Earth? Is it just a throwaway item? How can that be? Democracy, 
oh my God, democracy. Democracy may be actually the smart move, not just, you know, like the nice move. I had a student who said, why do you have to have democracy? You have to have democracy because the problems are so difficult to solve. We need everybody's head on, in the, on the solution. And so that's – so democracy uh, – not the end of more, more. Okie dokie. So we're almost ready to shuffle off. And so we're just going to, I'm just going to, we're just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, and I'm just going to do my silent dance now. I do this dance, this silent, like radio, but he's much better at it, and his troupe is much better at it. And so that's what is, uh, so I want to say from all of us here, uh, tonight, uh, this is the facts, uh, 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 nothing but the facts. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, Beth Griffith, Andrew Bolotowski. There were lots of other people here too. And, uh, hopefully we'll see you, uh, soon next week. We don't see you at all. <laughs>